So here's an example of how you find the resultant of two forces. We have here A, 50 kilonewtons north, 30 degrees west, and B, 10 kilonewtons east. Let's try to draw them. For force A, that would be 30 degrees from the north going to the west. So this is your force A. For force B, that would be 10 kilonewtons to the east. Second step is to resolve this into its components. This is your 30 degrees. From the north, 30 degrees going to the west. So for A, the vertical component is equal to We can use the trigonometric functions to find these values. So we can resolve this. A, this is its vertical component. A sub V. It's going up following the direction of your force. And your horizontal component for A is going to the west. This would be force a horizontal component we can use sine of 30 degrees equal to opposite of 30 degree is the horizontal component of a divided by the hypotenuse a and the cosine of 30 degrees is equal to the vertical component of a divided by the force a so, the horizontal component of A is now equal to A multiplied by sine of 30. Your A is 50 kilonewtons. Sine of 30. Your A vertical is equal to uh, 50. This is 50. Cosine of 30. You have the values 50 sine of 30 this is equal to 25 kilonewton your 50 cosine of 30 this is equal to 25 square root of 3 kilonewtons for force B that is just going to the east, there is no vertical component, so vertical component of V is just equal to 0 and the horizontal component is equal to simply 10 kilonewton. The next step is to find the summation of the vertical forces, this would be equal to, we are going to consider forces going up to be positive and forces going down to be negative so for the summation of forces vertical this is equal to the vertical component of a is going up so that would be positive 25 square root of 3 your b does not have its vertical component so that would just be plus 0 or simply this one summation forces vertical summation forces horizontal is equal to positive and forces going to the west is negative so summation forces horizontal is equal to positive your b this is 10 minus the horizontal component of a this is negative 25 this would just be equal to negative 15 Newtons. Now for the result, we can apply the Pythagorean theorem. So the resultant is equal to the square root of.
25 squared plus 3 squared plus negative 15 squared using our calculators this would be square root of 25 square root of 3 quantity square plus negative 15 squared this would be equal to 10 square root of 21 okay then we now have your resultant force we have your vertical component of the resultant force and the horizontal component and we also have your resultant force I draw it in a simpler form your horizontal and vertical component of your resultant using the principle of vector addition to find the resultant or the angle inclination of inclination of the resultant let's copy the vertical component and your horizontal component so this is the point of origin it should follow the directions of this vector addition so your resultant will be going up let's find this angle theta so that would be tangent of theta equal to summation of forces horizontal divided by the horizon summation of forces vertical this is the opposite over the adjacent side referring to the, the angle theta so theta is equal to the inverse tangent of summation of forces horizontal this is negative 15 divided by summation of forces vertical 25 square root of 3 this is just a positive our tangent of 15 over 25 square root of 3 this is 19.10660535 degrees so your resultant this, this angle was taken from the north side going to the west so the resultant would be 10 square root of 21 kilonewtons from the north 19.1660535 degrees going to the